Hello everybody, this is Ethan Leeds, I'm a holistic health coach and I, I have uh, Adam Ringham here and we're going to be talking about detox and specifically something that I've used for many years now is a product called Zeolite which is very, very effective at uh, removing toxins from the gut. Uh, but more recently, there's been a breakthrough in the technology um, with Zeolite and Adam Ringham happens to be a specialist in this area. So we're going to talk about something called TRS, which is a special form of Zeolite. So hi, Adam. Hey, how you doing? Very good, thanks. So um, Adam, I've used Zeolite for many years, but what you're using is very different in many regards to what I've been using until recently. So I'd love it if you could just share a little about what those differences are, what TRS is, and what it does. All right, um, quick little back history of myself, ex-military veteran, so got lots of military shots. Um, uh, mercury toxic my entire life. My mom had a whole bunch of mercury fillings removed and then put back in before she was pregnant with me a couple years before. If your firstborn child usually picks up about 80% of the mother's free heavy metal toxicity load. Okay. So it's super, super, um, super toxic there. I also then used to smoke two packs of cigarettes a day and I was an alcoholic for a decade. I was over 300 pounds. Um, so like the whole detox <laughs> on a lot of different levels, I'm very, very familiar with. Um, and I did use zeolites for a while, much like you talked about, and I'm glad we brought it up so we can run over this real quick. A standard zeolite, if people don't know what a zeolite is, basically a zeolite makes, it's a mineral that has, it turns into a soccer ball-like cage. And what it does is it likes to either trap heavy metals inside of it, or if the cluster is too large or the molecule of the atom is too big, this electric charge will go and stick to one of the large particle sizes, so it neutralizes. Um, like a it, magnet. Like a magnet, it neutralizes this reactive part of whatever toxicity we're talking about because pretty much every toxin on the planet has a positive charge on it. Mm -hmm. So human body is negatively electrically charged. When you get these positive charges in you, that disrupts body pH, electrical functions, health in, in general. Um, and so zeolites, they're a neat little, I mean, they're a neat tool. The problem is a standard zeolite, when you take it, will only work in the upper digestive tract really to absorb heavy metals there. So the problem becomes if you've got metals in your brain, or anywhere else in your body, you've got to find a way to get them out, protect the body while these metals work their way down to the digestive tract, then be absorbed through the zeolites and then be excreted. So while it's a solution, it comes with a lot of drawbacks and things that aren't ideal for the average person that wants to be doing some form of a detox. What happened is, is understanding that there were all of these limitations to standard zeolites, the company that I work with called Cosiva, uh, came up with, we're not even going to talk about the old product because it's not relevant. The TRS Clear, I don't recommend it because it's just obsolete. There's now the Advanced TRS, which comes in the blue bottle. And basically what they did with this, because heavy metal or it's, um, zeolites that are normally found in the environment already come naturally contaminated with heavy metals. It's just the way things, right. you know, it's heavy metals. These things occur everywhere. So it's fact of life. Yeah, so, so Mike Adams did, a, did a, a big article about this about a year and a half ago, uh, about zeolite contamination, uh, which a lot of people were freaking out about at the time, I recall. Um, yep. So it's, zeolite, because it attracts toxins in its natural state, guess what it does? Attract toxins and gets contaminated. And it's very difficult to clean, right? Yep, they're very difficult to clean. A lot of times company will use acids and other stuff to rinse them. Number one, it's not 100% effective, like you can't get all this stuff out. Number two, it kind of wrecks the quantum structure of these zeolite cages by washing them with acids. Like you've, you've disrupted a lot of things. So what Koseva did is they realized that Mike Adams is actually, he's spot on, that there is a problem with contamination and with these things only working in the upper digestive tract and not being the most effective solutions in the world. Uh, so he, uh, he, his article was spot on and he was right. So what Koseva did is they grow these zeolites from scratch so basically they're saying we're going to take the building blocks of a zeolite grow them from scratch so that they're absolutely free of all contamination in any way shape or form so this is in a lab right Just yep this is in a lab grown to make sure that there is absolutely nothing but zeolites in their zeolites the other thing that they do too is they grow at nanoparticle size so when you make something smaller it now has a greater surface area every bottle of uh, trs has the equivalent of over 350 Olympic sized swimming pools in surface area to absorb toxins. So take an Olympic sized oh, swimming pool, times that times 350 times, that's how much surface area is in a single bottle of TRS to absorb toxins. So that's, that's a really neat talking point to talk about. When you make this smaller size, they are now far, 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 far more effective. The other than the, lastly, the thing that they did, it's not really lastly, but 
Another thing they did is they then bind it to a water molecule. I would love to tell you I know how that they did this. I believe they used lasers, but I am not sure. So unfortunately, the process is a little bit proprietary. But so, so the zeolite molecule is bound to a water molecule. Yep, it's and bound to a water molecule. As such, that's going to go anywhere that water goes, or yep. you could say anywhere that blood goes, because the water yep. constitutes the blood, right? Ninety percent of, of the blood is water. Yeah, so anywhere in the body that water can go, this zeolite can now travel with it. So we've now solved a whole lot of problems that um, this zeolite being bound to uh, nanoparticle size, then being pure, and then being bound to this water molecule can readily pass into the blood brain barrier, into the spinal column, into the organs, all these different places in the body. And then the zeolites do what they naturally do. Uh, the neat part about zeolites is they're not like an activated charcoal is that they're far more selective in the toxicity that they'll pick up. Um, like an activated charcoal is awesome for removing toxicity, but the problem is it absorbs beneficial nutrients too. So yeah. you take it. TRS, because these minerals like calcium and magnesium and these other things that the body needs, zinc, um, don't travel around free floating in the body. They're bound in you know, magnesium glycinate, gluconerates, um, or they're bound to different amino acids. Um, I might be mixing up the names a tiny bit just because of somebody to keep track of. But anyway, the TRS will selectively pick up toxicity and not beneficial nutrients. However, if you have an excess of, say, manganese or iron, which some people with like Lyme disease is a fairly common thing to have happen, it will pick up these extras that are floating around. So the body will selectively dump what it doesn't need into these zeolites because they unbind within the cell and then they can rapidly be transported this way because they, the essential minerals don't float around free free form and free floating. No, they don't. The toxicities do. Sometimes the body will try and bind them up in different ways, but same thing. It, it can still just selectively dump these heavy metals, the toxins, the fluorides, the roundups, the pesticides, herbicides, uh, all these different things can be dumped into the TRS zeolite selectively, so we're not picking up all the beneficial nutrients. Um, I can I don't have all of the studies to prove all of these things. I've got some of them, uh, but it doesn't paint a perfect picture. The big way I can say it is that I've done a detox for so many years and done it the wrong way, the hard way, learned the right way, then doing it that way. <clears throat> I personally can tell a big difference if I'm not absorbing my minerals and other stuff. It's like, okay, you know, I can really feel this stuff hitting. Um, but so the TRS probably ends up saving me like three, $400 a month because I don't have to take all of these other supplements because I don't have so much of this toxicity in the way. So that's a great, great thing is that it, it's, it ends up saving me a ton of money every month because all my other supplements work better because my stress load is lower because I don't have toxicity level that's up as high. And, but that's yeah, so where it might be worth mentioning at this point that toxicity is actually the prime foundational cause of all chronic disease, even above and beyond deficiency, which is at the other the other platform. Um, so toxicity is a major, major issue, and partly because of the horrendous bombardment of toxins that we're under right now that never before have people been under. We're under such a huge toxic load from from every quarter from our food and our water in the air uh, the vaccinations and just everywhere you look we're being bombarded with toxins so anyone who wants to deal uh, with their health and in any way give them give their bodies the best chance at healing or remaining healthy has to find a way of dealing with toxins and that's why uh, i've been um, uh, involved with zeolite among other things for a, a long time and i'm so excited about this form of zeolite and I'm hearing, and I'm sure you, I mean, you've been using it for longer, and, and I've been recommending it for longer, but I'm hearing and seeing some wonderful testimonies from people who've got toxic issues that may be considered disease, but actually they're just being poisoned. Um, so tell us a little bit about what kind of, what kind of things people might want to consider using TRS, TRS with if they've got what? What, may, what? what are the symptoms they may be having that would say, hey, you sound like you're toxic, you need to be doing something about it? A uh, big one is Lyme disease is one of the first ones I talk about with a lot of people. Uh, right. TRS is it's not a cure for Lyme disease and it doesn't treat Lyme disease by any chance. There are a lot of secondary things that come with using the TRS that can drastically boost the immune system so it can deal with the Lyme better. Uh, but the big thing like Lyme disease, people, if you have that, you're going to get something that's called cryptopyroluria. What this Lyme disease did, and it's Dr. Um, Klinghart is his name, does wonderful videos on this stuff. Basically, Lyme disease will secrete this little enzyme that makes you pee out all of your essential minerals. So now when all of these essential minerals are being peed out, 
when you're deficient in essential minerals, you start hanging on to heavy metals. So if you're zinc deficient, zinc is used to arm the immune system. That's one of the big, one of um, the many ways that Lyme disease can do this. It'll cause you to pee out all your zinc. Well, now you're going to hang on to cadmium and mercury because they're yeah. in the same vertical column in the periodic table of elements. The, each one of these will act like another one. So when you're deficient in this one, it starts hanging on to these other ones. Um, Lyme disease will also lay down heavy metal biofilms. Um, so basically to keep the immune system from being able to get the Lyme disease or the, uh, where these infections are actually at, especially in the gut. This is uh, Forrest Meridae, if you've ever heard of my incredible, incredible opinion or the why am I crooked, if you've ever heard of this, uh, that guy, wonderful, brilliant dude. But um, these heavy metals in the digestive tract will lay down biofilms too, so your gut health is always messed up. Those of you um, that know anything about like yourself, natural health, if you're into it, if you know if your gut health is off, the rest of your body is gonna be off drastically. Uh, another thing that'll happen too is these Lyme diseases and other things will lay down biofilms in this vagus complex back here. So you constantly have a stress response that's locked on. When you're stressed out, your body is never gonna recuperate because you don't absorb any minerals because you're stressed out. So the body's like digestion off, we can't deal with anything. So if you're in this chronic stress state, which can come from heavy metals locking on this vagus complex and the vagal nerve, it's the whole, it's the whole vagal complex. It's not just one vagal nerve. There's a bunch of it. But that's something that can happen. I myself used to wake up and feel like somebody had beaten the base of my skull and the back and my lower back down there. Felt like somebody had been beating me with a baseball bat every day when I woke up. So I woke up and I just hurt being like, oh my God, I just, I just hurt. And I don't even want to get out of bed because I'm so sore. Um, obviously people that have vaccine injured children, which is a lot of them, yeah. uh, the vaccine injuries, you're going to have the speech delays, the sensory processing disorder, uh, disorders. They're going to have the emotional processing disorders. We can also get this as adults. If we're heavy metal toxic, I can attest to this big time. When I was super heavy metal toxic, my depression levels off the charts, anxiety, stress, you know, inability to even look people in the eye because they're, all these emotions get stuck in there as well. So that's another thing is heavy metals basically lock on these brain loops. So if you've got an emotional thing that you're trying to detoxify or change out of yourself, well, nerves are negative charge. So you get this little heavy metal positive charge in there. It's going to constantly be short circuiting, locking on these brain loops of these negative emotional patterns, behaviors, um, and things that just keep you locked in the past. So that's going to be a huge, huge issue for anybody that's got that. Or very simply put, Anybody who's just trying, who's just wanting to get started into getting healthier, because there's so many options out there that are so complex that are saying, hey, this is going to do this, this is going to do that. One of the simplest things that's going to happen is the TRS is one of the best ways to start for anybody that wants to start taking control of your health, because it's really easy. The amount of money that it's going to save you and everything else is, it pays for itself very quickly. And then the detox symptoms are usually very, 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 very minimal. For most people, there are some people that get headaches. One thing that not a lot of people know about um, parasites will eat heavy metals and coat their bodies in them so that the immune system can't deal with this parasite infection. And if the immune system does deal with the parasite infection, then a bunch of heavy metals dump causes a big yeast overgrowth, but then causes the, uh, the parasite eggs and everything to develop, you know, free of the immune system harassing it. So it causes this vicious cycle of if you're heavy metal toxic, you're probably going to be parasite toxic as well. Um, the other thing we can look at, we now live in an electromagnetic soup everywhere. Wi-Fi's, you know, cell phone towers, uh, smart meters, I'm here in the US, and so we've got a giant problem with that and the fluoride and then the aluminum added to water. But anyway, what ends up happening when you become heavy metal toxic, you're now a walking antenna for these EMFs. So you're gonna be drastically more EMF sensitive so these EMFs are going to start causing pathogenic overgrowth in the body because you're not meant to be bombarded with EMFs constantly. Like this is something not a lot of people have paid attention to. We talk pleomorphic organisms that when you take a microorganism, bacteria, fungus, whatever, you put it in a nice, clean, healthy environment, it evolves to be more healthy, more beneficial, cleaner. But when you put it in a, a dirty environment, it starts devolving into a pathogenic uh, microbes. So that happens when we're stuck in this electromagnetic soup and we've got these heavy metals, you know, they're sitting here picking this stuff up, which is then stressing out the microbes, which changes your whole microbiome, stresses you out further. So the thing is, when we don't have these heavy metals in us, we don't pick up these EMFs nearly as much. So we're much more resistant to EMF toxicity when we aren't full of heavy metals. So I kind of just covered like a huge broad spectrum that it basically 499 people out of 500 people would find usually find really good benefit from using the TRS. Um, one of the things that can happen is 
you can get an emotional detox, which not a lot of people are familiar with. It can cause like a very clustered headache because different emotions are stored in different areas of the body, visions, you know, back of the head, hearings around the auditory complex. And here, prefrontal cortex is uh, very susceptible to mercury toxicity. So you now have a problem with planning and what are you gonna do with the future? Um, also, you've got impulse control up in the prefrontal cortex as well. So people that don't have the greatest impulse control don't follow through with things. Um, that's one of the symptoms of heavy metal toxicity. You start a project and never finish it because you're scatterbrained around. Mm -hmm. um, you also get- Yeah, I personally experienced, uh, I was someone that never dreamed uh, until I started um, with Nano Zeli and suddenly my, I started dreaming again. Um, so obviously there's, and that turns out to be one of the side effects of, of it, right? You, you, you have dreams more vivid if you're already a dreamer. Or if you don't dream at all, maybe you'll start dreaming like I do. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. You broke up a little bit. Oh, okay. So I was just saying one of the side effects that I had uh, was, was the ability to start dreaming again. I, I didn't used to dream until I started on this nano -zealot. Yeah, um, pineal gland, very, very susceptible to fluoride. And then if you couple it with either Roundup or aluminum, that super shuttles this toxicity into the pineal gland. Pineal gland makes melatonin which regulates your sleep and awake cycle. So a lot of people that can't sleep, obviously we're staring at these blue screens and stuff before bed, the blue light really messes up your um, sleep cycle and everything too. But if you're also toxic, your pineal gland's not gonna make melatonin. So you don't sleep, get into these REM cycles. So people are supplementing with all this other stuff because they can't sleep. It's like, well, it's because your melatonin cycle's all messed up from the pineal gland being screwed up and or, look, and or looking at you know cell phones and stuff before bed is obviously gonna throw everything off. But the other thing that the pineal gland makes is something called dimethyltryptamine, which is the mother of all hallucinogens, which is naturally occurring in the body at all times. Like your body makes this all the time and it is the chemical that is responsible for making you dream so myself man i <laughs> we got to start talking about dreams some days i have it i'm a little bit of a unique individual i have very natural i have naturally very high occurring levels of dmt so there are some days my dreams are so intense i have no idea what's real and what's not when i wake up because they're so real and lifelike but if those of you that get into dream interpretation it's super handy of Jungian psychology almost to say, here's what your brain is bringing out to you. And your subconscious is doing the best that it can to communicate, you know, with you what's going on. But we could sit here all day. Other. We're not going to get into that. Yeah. But yes. So, so, so let, me, let me just bring it to a point here. So um, new customers, people that are just trying TRS for the first time. Give me some, give me some basic information. So first of all, dose. Um, it recommends on the bottle two sprays in the, in the morning and three in the evening, right? So five sprays a day. So by the way, that's me, I should mention, it's very easy to take. Even for, say, autistic children who typically have struggled taking lots and lots of things, this is very, very easy. It's a liquid with no taste um, and it can be added to a drink or food or, or, if it, uh, or sprayed directly into the mouth no taste and there's very little of it that's required it's small small doses so five sprays a day is the standard dose is there any reason to change that dose start lower build up um, some people may want to start lower because like i said these heavy metals will lock in negative emotions um military veterans ptsd stuff um those are ones you might want to start a little slower of one spray in the morning and one at night Right. And the thing is, you can the standard usage rate, like you said, is two sprays in the morning and three at night. Um, some people, especially if you've got like a vaccine injured kid and these other things, start off start off slow. If you ever have any question with it, just start slow because you can always up the dose. You can always, if you need to, you can take a break and start again later. A lot of these children that are the vaccine damaged, or let's just call them heavy metal toxic, it's another good way to put it. Um, they're going to have really disrupted gut health. So a lot of parents that um, have these vaccine injured kids, the heavy metal sensory processing, speech disorders, um, emotional regulations problem. When they start the TRS, they start shedding a whole bunch of these biofilms in the digestive tract because the body will let go of them now that the heavy metals aren't there. So the poops can become foul and it can become a little bit irritating to a child's butt if they're still wearing diapers because it's the stuff coming out is toxic. Like these biofilms are nasty. Yeah. Um, so for them, certainly start slow. I do have people, um, like you mentioned, because TRS tastes like nothing but water. So these kids with the sensory processing disorders and stuff, it's not gonna bother them like all of these other supplements will. Yeah. Uh, you have mentioned, you can put it in water, you can put it in food, it's better if you don't. 
but if you have to, you can. Something else that I have had numerous people report, including myself, because we've got a three month old daughter, three and a half month now, um, that we've been using the TRS just topically on the back of her head, like where she's got a stork bite from probable MTHFR mutation. So anybody with an MTHFR mutation, you really want to use the TRS because yeah, your poor sure. liver doesn't function as well to get these things out. And that's a different topic for a different day. But if you've got the MTHFR mutation or know anybody that does, this is a huge, huge piece of support for their body. Absolutely. Um, so, but some of the other things, people, they might notice headaches as these emotional aspects change. As you change your thoughts, changing your thoughts isn't easy. It, it can hurt a lot. So that is something that some people will notice is that will happen. Um, also, too, when we get the heavy metals out, many times people will find a parasite die off because, you know, the parasites aren't protected by heavy metals, so the immune system can get at them. The parasites then die. Their bodies have to be cleaned up. So that can kind of burden the lymph system if you don't have enough of the immune system to clean up this parasite die off. Just use some things to support, um, you know, your lymph system. You use lemongrass oil, cypress oil, so juice some lemons, you know, do any juicing of a kind. Oh, Get you out, or more water. So, I mean, you can always, always supplement with more stuff if you want. Just for people that have never used it before, if you're getting an issue, if you're getting, you know, a mild headache from emotional changes or these metals coming out, you can just inhale peppermint oil or put a little peppermint oil on your head. Usually it's not that big a deal for most. For 90%. So you, you mentioned, Adam, topical use. So are there any specific, for example, certain skin conditions are a consequence of toxins coming through the skin and irritating the skin? Um, I have, I've had people, we're not making any claims, but I have had people with psoriasis that will topically use it on psoriasis and it has been helpful for it. Or there's a lot of people because psoriasis is usually a condition of gut health and eating too much sugars, grains, uh, candida overgrowth and fungal overgrowth. So I have had people that have reported after they've started using TRS after like two or three months, all of a sudden their food sensitivities are gone. Uh, TRS does absorb excess histamines as well. So those with allergic reactions to different foods and other stuff, TRS will also absorb uh, histamines, which will then lower the uh, allergic reaction, I guess you could say, that people would get to different things. So um, serial conditions, anything that starts, so many diseases start in the gut. If your gut health's off, we can sit here and talk about that all day long. But one of the big things is if you get the heavy metals out, now your gut health can start changing because this heavy metal isn't locking biofilms in. So then the skin conditions like the psoriasis that come from um, toxic gut health. I'm not claiming that this is going to do it for you, but I'm giving you a rationale that if you've got these conditions, the TRS is a really great thing to think about. Um, uh, so there's those things. There are I people. Say it's, it's, more, it's more of a no brain. I mean, you've got to try this. this is yeah. I, I mean, I mean I, this I've is been involved in natural health for decades. I, I, there's very, there's very few things that are even comparable in their ability to safely remove toxins, let alone this nano version, which is able to get, you know, as you mentioned earlier, to the brain and to the, to the organs and so on, in a way that regular ZLI can't. Um, I, this, this, this is just a starting point. There's some other things you can add, but this is, this is where you should start if you're trying to get rid of toxins out of your body. This is the safest, cleanest, easiest, and one of the least expensive. I mean, it's really compa compared with other detox systems. This is this is relatively inexpensive. Yeah, it's exactly like you said. It's for anybody that is wanting to get started and is overwhelmed by all the things you could do. This is this solves so many problems so simply for a really affordable price. Saying like, listen, we could we could sit here and give you a an $800 a month supplement regimen and have to try to custom tailor it to you of what you're actually deficient in and all this stuff. Or we could start with saying, listen, let's clean up the body before we try and fix anything. It's kind of like if you, if you, you got a bunch of trash, you're high, trying to haul to the, uh, to the dump yard. If you've got the roads littered with trash, you're not going to be able to clean anything up and bring anything new in. It's going to sit here and smell and ruin anything good you bring in. So the first thing we want to do is we want to clean up the area before we try to do anything else beyond that. So a question that, that people are going to ask is, I've got such and such a whatever it may be, autism or Lyme or fibromyalgia, whatever, and I'm taking medication. The doctor's giving me medication now. Is this TRS going to interfere with my medication? There are very, 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 very few medications that will be interfered with um, by TRS. So that's the really great news. Unless you've got a heavy metal-based medication, TRS won't interact with your medications at all. So um, always, I always suggest 
bring it to your doctor. Be sure to ask them or your local pharmacist. They're probably not going to have any idea what you're talking about, which there's nothing I can do about that. But at least I told you, go ask them and try to say, hey, you're going to put me on this. The question to ask really would be, is my medication heavy metal based? That's the best question to ask is, is this heavy metal based? Um, lithium is one that we're not exactly sure on. So, um, well, if you're on a lithium carbonate, get the heck off it and get on a lithium oroate number one. Uh, for everybody that's out there. Lithium oro weight, far safer than the carbonate, works much better. Um, but outside of that one, I don't actually have any other medication that I've ever run across that's heavy metal based that would interact with TRS. Okay. So um, there are a couple of a couple of medications that have like aluminum in the coating of it, which is stupid, but I'm not the drug manufacturer, so I whatever. I off these medications anyway. <laughs> if this is if it's a heavy metal based medication, I wouldn't want to be why, on why would you ever want to put extra heavy metals into your body? This is yeah. just, <laughs> I don't, I don't know, but it's, you know what? We live in a very insane world these days. So it's, you know what? We're just letting everybody know if you're on a heavy metal based medication, that's about the only time that TRS is an issue with any form of medication. What about somebody with kidney issues? Um... Uh, somebody with kidney issues, it will still be the only contradiction is utter and complete kidney failure. Um, if you have, weaker kidneys, it's always suggested to start slow, or you could even use the TRS topically over the kidneys so that the metals be, um, uh, kidneys are very susceptible to aluminum damage, mercury damage, heavy metals, because kidneys are powerfully negatively charged to push things out of the body. So they like to suck heavy metals into the kidneys. So you could always start with topically doing the TRS over the kidneys or just go slow or always consult your doctor. I would say consult a naturopath or something with somebody who has any idea what they're talking about. Because the doctor's um, not trained in this stuff, right? He's not going to have a first faintest clue. And the standard thing for them to say when they haven't got a clue is don't do it because they don't have a clue. So they've got to protect themselves. If they said do it and, they, and, and, it, and it turned out to be a problem, they'd be in trouble. So their default position is don't do it. So not a good idea to ask an untrained person um, for his opinion on something. And they're not trained in natural things, right? Yeah, I, I always advocate, ask questions. Find somebody who knows what they're talking about. Be like, and when you find them, then ask them, get their opinion, because I'm not a medical professional. I don't want to be. <laughs> be honest, I don't want to be in the medical world, but don't take anything I say as doctor's advice. It's not. I'm saying if you've got all of these different issues, look into the symptoms heavy metal toxicity can cause. It can cause disruptions in protein folding. So now people who don't recover from exercise and these other things as quickly lead, um, cadmium, many different things will interfere with protein synthesis. So your body can't make proteins to recover and heal from exercise and these things that also heavy metals chew up large quantities of vitamin B1. So now if you're tired all the time, chronic fatigue, you know, we get the thyroid and adrenal fatigue. Those are both very, very adrenals are massively susceptible to mercury toxicity. So anyone with the adrenal and the thyroid fatigue, the long story short, as I'm trying to say is there are 499 people out of 500 people will probably benefit from TRS. The thing is though, TRS doesn't treat or cure any disease whatsoever. I mentioned Lyme and autism and all this other stuff. TRS isn't treating it or curing it. No, we're, we're looking at the under, underlying causes of, which is toxicity. We're not treating disease here. We're treating the environment uh, of, within the body, right? Yeah, it's a, that's the biggest thing is this is supporting your body on basically a subatomic level up. Yeah. It's starting super, super low and moving up versus if we're saying, hey, we've got this issue, we're going to try and get, to the, get through the onion from the top down of, okay, we got to do this, then this, then this, then this, then it down to get to this root problem. The TRS starts more down here and everything starts coming up. That. Right. So next question then um, on people that can use it, age, right? Babies, are they, are, they, are they fine? You know, what age can we start using TRS? <sighs> Usually the recommended usage rate is one spray per 30 pounds is kind of the recommended dosage rate. I, however, I've taken an entire bottle of TRS in two days and I just didn't have to sleep because I felt amazing, which was great. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I also, however, do not recommend anybody does what I did. I just yeah. did it to be like, if I'm going to tell people to use this stuff, I want to make sure it's safe. So I'm going to take a huge dose of it just to see what happens. Absolutely nothing. I think I take on average 20 sprays a day just because these things take time and if you space it out it works a little bit better so anybody that wants to you can certainly do more of it if you want you might have these other issues come up faster especially the emotions um or the lymph system needing to be cleared out but you know if you've got 
natural health worker like yourself that you can get in touch with somebody say well this stuff's going to happen so i'm going to support the lymph system how do i do this faster you can move it up there's myself i don't really have to take anything um at this point i've been on it for like a year and a half or two years now but i can take 20 sprays a day and nothing happens to me i'm just like i feel great so do you really need to do that no but i've still got uh mercury fillings in the mouth and i got a, you know other stuff my military vaccines and other things are still they're they're down in there deep they don't go away overnight so i'm still doing a bunch of stuff um, well, the thing is adam even if you'd cleared everything we're being continually exposed on a day-by-day -day basis uh, because of the chemical world that we're now living in i mean the skies are being sprayed with whatever i'm not getting into that but we can see the skies being sprayed above us right with something and we don't want that something, whatever it is, in our body. Um, you know, our water uh, is it, full of, of fluoride in the US and the UK, where I am, but, but many other um, chloride and chlorides and, and, and hormones and all kinds of stuff that we don't even know. Um, so our foods are being, even our organic foods are not truly organic on the whole. They've still got chemical sprays on them and so on, um, even the certified organic. Um, so even if you're eating all organic, unless you're growing it yourself and you're a long way away from anywhere who's grown with pesticides, you're getting chemicals. We can't avoid that. So yeah, there's, there's like you said, there's pretty much nowhere that's really safe anymore. I'm not here to, for, like you said, neither one of us are. We're not here to be like fear-based solutions of oh my god, everything's poisoned. You're gonna die. It's just no. We live in reality of do our air, our water, and our food is all just poison no matter what you do to an extent and granted i will always disclaim that you can always heal yourself through by your thoughts and through prayer alone however not all of us are all the way there yet you know it's still a process i'm still working on it i've drastically improved but um this is just you know what listen if everything's poisoned find the cheapest most cost effective solution that you can trs is basically that's what it is it's the cheapest easiest most cost effective solution that's to all of these problems. I mean, it's not gonna make them go away, but at least you're gonna minimize the damage of what's happening, yeah. so. I think we have to give our body the tools to deal with what it's facing. Um, I, I'm a big advocate of clean, well, I, I like distilled water, but the purest water that you can get um, is, is gonna really help. Um, so. uh, can you hear you speak up a little bit. Oh wow, this, this microphone is really playing up, isn't it? So yeah, it's going up and down. I won't talk too much. Hopefully it'll come through on the recording. But I, what I'm saying is that good clean water as well is a very cost effective, very important method um, of helping your body to remove toxins. So good clean water, good diet, this TRS, um, this will give you a really good foundation for, of tools for your body to remove toxins. So um, I'm going to try not to speak too much. Well, I think we're coming to a close anyway. So before we do come to a close, Adam, um, any last thoughts that anyone should know um, about using TRS? Is there any, any, anything that you can think of that you need to know this? Um, I'll pause, let you speak. Uh, I think the best way to put it is just listen to your body. You know, because everybody's so different. Our toxic loads are so different. We handle stress and we handle toxicity very differently. Like I handle toxicity and back when I was an alcoholic, I could drink a 24 pack of beer before I'd go out to the bar and still blow another hundred bucks. It's like, so everybody handles toxicity different is a big thing. Um, also emotionally, I've been through, <laughs> I pray nobody else ever has to go through my life, but uh, it's emotional durability is way up there. The big thing is just listen to your body, listen to yourself. Um, and three things go a really long way. TRS, decent diet, and clean water. Between those three things alone, they're very, very simple solutions that'll make drastic changes in your life. So it's mostly just listen to your body, give it a shot and see what you think. If you get some form of a, you know, a headache or emotional detox coming up, try to get to the root cause of that so it can be dealt with. Um, we all have these unbelievable levels of emotional toxicity that we just in today's society, we just brush it aside. Like men, especially men are taught to just suck it up, move on. It's like, well, it's not real healthy, unfortunately. So that's going to come back to get you at some point. We've also got genetic traumas that are passed from our parents, grandparents, great grandparents, great, 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 all the way down to so the genetic traumas. We also collectively as humanity as a whole, we share traumas too. Uh, like 9-11, basically, whether you were there or not, the spiritual attack that that was ripples out and affects every single one of us on a lot of levels that we're usually not aware of. Um, so, but back to the main point, just listen to your body. Start with the 
if in doubt, start slow. It's not going to hurt you. You can always work up and you can always go back if you want. It's completely up to you. Um, and, the, and the simplest thing to say, closing arguments, if you haven't tried it, and if you want to get started with your health and making a difference really easily, really cost effectively and not complicating things, the TRS is like your greatest solution. Those of you that are more advanced wanting to get into your health, TRS becomes even more interesting because you're like, oh, wow, this is, I'm kind of starting to get how cool this is, especially after people start trying it. They're like, my Lord, like you said, be like, I'm dreaming like crazy and this hasn't happened in God knows how long. This is really cool. Mm -hmm. um, so those are just the simple closing points. It's just, you can take it slow. You can speed up to wherever you want. You can always back off. You can always quit because you won't backslide like uh, many of these other protocols, like the Andy Cutler chelation. If you stop doing it, you backslide a whole bunch. TRS doesn't work that way. It's if you stop, no big deal. I mean, I go sometimes days or even like a week and I forget to take it and I take a whole bunch of it and I forget to do it. And it's just kind of like, well, whenever I need it, I use it at this point. So, but it's, it's awesome because it's because it's just a wonderful, wonderful, simple solution to get in for so many of these issues. Um, and don't be afraid to use more if you want to. Just listen to your body and don't don't be dumb and do the whole bottle in two days like I did. It, it's not beneficial. So, um, oh, one other thing: if you really want to, if you're going to use more sprays, or even if you're just using the five a day, the more you can spread it out, the better. If you remember, you see, it's not you don't have to. It TS, TRS clears the body in about six to eight hours is about a hundred percent clear rate. So if you're taking one spray every two hours versus, you know, a bunch in the morning and a bunch at night, that's going to work a whole lot better than dosing it all up at once. But also at the same time, it's not going to kill you to take five sprays at once. I do it all the time. So um, it's just listen to yourself, kind of do what you want, adjust it as you need. Obviously you can support, ask Ethan here. He can give you a whole bunch of different options to support yourself further if you need to, but this is just the simplest, easiest way to start bringing your health back on track and not making it complicated or expensive. Absolutely agreed. And thank you so much for spending your time, Adam. And I hope that this uh, information is going to be helpful to many people who are just being introduced to TRS. Um, so thanks very much. And um, I'm sure we'll, we'll have another chat another time. I'm sure we will at some point. It was great to be here. Thank you, everybody. Hopefully this information was helpful and fun, most of all. Maybe like, well, this solutions can be fun. We don't have to be all doom and gloom all the time. We can say, well, wait. We have a solution. So, and it's not that, not that expensive. I just love the fact that we're in a position to offer real solutions for real problems that people are facing all around the world. And it's, and it's great that we're on opposite sides of the world. I mean, you now it's fantastic, but this is great. And I hope that um, we, we've been some small encouragement for people to try something which really can change lives. It really can. Okay. Thanks, Adam. Bye. Thank you, everybody. Have a great night. I appreciate you taking the time to visit with me. I'm trying.